motorcycles are still the most popular style of bike sold in the US, but cruisers, particularly of the American Big Twin variety, are notoriously spendy. Most brand new Indians and Harley Davidsons cost around $20,000 or more. There are many choices out there, with plenty of key features that will help you get the most out of your motorcycle tour. From fast and furious sports bikes to classy tourers and laid-back cruisers, there is something for every free spirit out there looking to embark on a long, adventure-packed journey. So, here is a list of the 10 best touring and cruising motorcycles out there. Number 10. The 2019 Indian Chieftain The new 2019 Chieftain looks fantastic, and in the process, Indian hasn't sacrificed any of the handling, comfort and convenience that has made it such a wonderfully long-legged bagger. The 1811cc Thunderstroke 3 engine gives plenty of punch and excellent passing power without any energy sapping vibes. With a top speed of 125 miles per hour, smooth shifting through its six gears, confidence aspiring ABS brake, and the highly functional fairing and windscreen contribute greatly to its touring aptitude. Starting at $22,000, the bagger segment is owned almost wholesale by Harley Davidson, but the Chieftain's engine, chassis, and technology package is a match or better of Harley's. Number 9 the 2019 Honda Goldwing. One cannot make a list of touring bikes without including the legendary motorbike that gave birth to the touring motorcycle category. First introduced in 1975, the Honda Goldwing is all about riding in style. Starting at $24,000, it has a flat 6 engine, 1833cc, and a top speed of 124 miles per hour. It delivers all you could ask from a touring bike, from heated grips and seat to a satellite navigation system passengers' armrests, wide seats, and low footboards. It is considered an icon in the touring class. It also comes with the first factory production line airbag in motorcycle history. There are some extras definitely worth having, such as quality hard luggage and aftermarket suspension. Number 8. The 2019 Indian Roadmaster For some, the rumble, heat, and heft of an enormous V-twin is a necessary part of the road trip experience. The Indian Roadmaster makes North America feel small. Built for covering big distance on big open roads, it is comfortable for both rider and passenger. Leather seats, rich paint, and chrome gives the experience a feeling of old-world luxury. The Bikes Ride Command infotainment system is an utterly useful and easy-to-use system offering all kinds of info, including integrated GPS. The stereo system is surprisingly clear, and the tone of the exhaust is even more pleasing to the ears. The Indian has a starting price of $28,900, weighs 944 pounds, and its 1811cc V-twin only offers a little shy of 100 horsepower. Number 7. Victory Cross Country The Cross Country Tour is one of the two fully dressed models available from Victory right now, and it carries a more conventional look than its counterpart, the Vision. The Cross Country Tour looks very much like a certain product from Harley-Davidson. The CC and CC Tour are relatively heavy bikes with wet weights of 768 pounds and 844 pounds respectively, and the chassis are all steel, double down tube and cradle frame for greater strength and rigidity. Starting at $20,000, the Cross Country Tour is a great cruiser with a torque-rich engine, well-balanced chassis, deceivingly stable handling and well-sorted suspension. It is primed for the long haul. Number 6. Yamaha FGR 1300 It's the company's flagship touring bike, and it comes with a 1298cc liquid-cooled inline 4 engine with a 6-speed transmission that combines speed and comfort for riding long distance in style. There are plenty of features from heated seats, traction control, to quick-release luggage mounts. The sports touring bike also has an electric screen, glove box, and adjustable suspensions. Sexy and sleek. It starts at $16,300, leave the bags on and it looks like a touring machine, take them off and it looks ready for the track. It's not an out and out sports bike, and it can't hang with some of them, but it's no slouch and you can ride it all day. Number 5. KTM 1290 Super Duke GC Designed to get you from point A to point B really, really fast, the KTM 1290 Super Duke GT has been part of the recent redefining of the sport tourer genre. 
Whereas Sport Tour is often used to be outdated sport bike made comfortable, the 1290 Super Duke GT is an uncompromising beast that just happens to have agreeable ergonomics and luggage. Powered by a 1301cc V-twin, the Austrian model claims roughly 173 horsepower at peak. The bike lacks some of the weather protection you traditionally expect from a Sport Tourer, is chain driven, which means having to perform chain maintenance on long road trips, but does not come standard with a center stand. The semi-active electronic suspension with a quick shifter and stable chassis will make rough canyon roads and highways seem like a walk in the park. It also features Bosch's lean-sensitive ABS, electronic cruise control, heated grips, as well as plenty of gadgets. The price ranges around $20,000. Number 4. Kawasaki Vulcan S The Vulcan S is a cruising motorcycle which is based on the same platform on which the Ninja 650R is built. A typical Japanese cruiser, the powertrain as well as the chassis have been shared with the Ninja 650R, which already has gained a cult status among the motorcycling enthusiasts around the world. Starting at $7100, it retains the frame, suspension and brakes from the 650. Built on a double pipe perimeter frame, the Vulcan S comes fitted with 41mm front telescopic forks and laid down offset wheel motor shock. The suspension is tuned for a soft ride with no compromise on the front of dynamics. The operation of braking is taken care of by single disc brakes at both front and rear, which also come with optional ABS. Number 3. The BMW R1200GS It might be big, but with its impressive 1170 twin-cylinder boxer, air and water-cooled flat twin engine peaking at 125 horsepower, the BMW R1200 RS is more agile and faster than you'd probably expect. With smooth handling, relaxed seating, and wind protection, starting at $15,000, it features a fully active suspension setup, high seat and high clearance. It is prepared for off-road adventure tours too. Moreover, it features BMW's automatic stability control as well as selectable power modes. Number two, Harley Davidson FXDR114. The FXDR114 combines the performance and power of the Camel and the H114 engine and takes the biggest variety of the current stock models. Models. It has 90 horsepower and 119 foot-pound of peak torque to lug around the 668 pounds of weight. You can be assured of a richer exhaust note pouring out of the neat-looking staggered edge pipes. A six-speed cruise drive transmission and slip assist clutch provides the rider smooth shifting of gears that help him maintain fatigue-free long rides. Starting at $25,000, you can deck it out with paint options, making it the most expensive soft tail yet. And a USB charge port. Number 1. The Ducati Diavel S Ducati Diavel is long and low, with sleek lines, forward controls and low seat height. It is something totally new from the Italian company known the world over for bending impeccable design and high performance machines. The premium S model elevates things further with its contrast cut machine timing belt, covers and wheels, DRLs, Brembo M50 front brake calipers and a special seat and a lot more which really give it a polished look. Starting at $24,000, it features the DVT setup which gives it the best of both worlds, a flatter and more linear power character without sacrificing performance. It charges that 95 pound-feet of torque and peaking at 156 where the red line is near the 10,000 RPM marking, made it to a slick 6-speed gearbox. Top speed is claimed to be above 160 miles per hour and is capable of a 0-60 to in under 2.5 seconds. It makes use of a conventional bit final drive instead of the typical chain assembly. So, what do you think of these new bikes? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and turn on notifications for the latest car reviews and news. Take care and see you in the next one.